Hello, this is going to be a pretty short video today. I just want to give some impressions of a game demo. The game itself is called Lost in Play. The demo is available as part of the Steam Next Fest deal, and I think this game is set for release in early August on PC and Switch so far. It is from a studio called Happy Juice Games, based in Tel Aviv. I have not seen or played a lot of games from Tel Aviv, so that's always interesting to get games from a, a new place. You might get a different perspective. They are clearly an indie studio. This might even be their first game. I don't know. Don't take my word on that. But anyway, I actually saw this game featured in one of the recent not E3 presentations. Specifically, it was the Future Games Showcase, I think. And those showcases are usually pretty decent. They just kind of focus on showing a bunch of stuff. And in this case, the way they sort of uh, pitched it, I guess, was for people who really like stuff like Gravity Falls and Over the Garden Wall. Those are the two shows specifically that they mentioned. There are a lot of stylistic similarities, and most obviously, I guess, the game just straight up looks like a cartoon. Now, this is not the first game to achieve this kind of look. Uh, I think even in recent years, this has just become more and more of a thing, where if a dev really wants to, and they have the artistic talent there, they can just straight up make their video game look like a cartoon that you would see on TV or online or wherever. We've even gotten that in terms of adaptations of existing cartoons, the South Park games just look one-to-one -one like the actual show. Later, Alligator, one of my my favorite point-and-click adventure games in, in a long time uh, that I did a video on quite a while ago. Exact same thing. Uh, Small Butera, of course, put that one together and, and uh, gave it some fantastic animation. And this time around, not familiar with the dev, but my goodness, is this a great-looking game based on what I've seen so far? And I wanted to share that with all of you, basically. I like talking about animation a whole lot here on the channel. While I don't think that so far Lost in Play has really like wowed me with the the technical aspects of the animation, like there's some things with timing every once in a while where I was like that was kind of clumsy or something, it wasn't extremely polished, and then there are other moments of animation that are just absolutely fantastic, they have some wonderful transitions even just in this demo and overall it is so clear that the team is just incredibly good at creating a visual style and tone that meshes so perfectly with the gameplay and with our characters here. We have two siblings. I don't even know if they give us their names, but they're two little kids. You maybe get the sense that they were previously close and now they're just, the, the boy's a little moody. He wants to hang out by himself, plays Game Boy and stuff. But meanwhile, our, our lead character here is just sunny, happy. She's very creative. The opening sequence, in fact, is, is clearly just her playing pretend, or, well, dreaming more specifically, but based on things in her real life and creating an incredible, you know, fun, calming, interesting environment out of that stuff. That's such a great way to open up the game and just communicate to the player, this is the vibe, this is the tone we're going for, and everything works together. I love it when gameplay and visuals actually make sense in combination with one another. Here in Last in Play, I get it. I get what they're going for, and so far I think it's been incredibly successful. Now, ultimately, this is a, I guess we still call them point-and-click adventure games, uh, even though this one works really well on a controller. In fact, they recommend that you use a controller to play it. And so, there are always potential issues with this genre if you've been playing stuff in this genre for a long time, stuff from Double Fine, the old humongous stuff, LucasArts stuff, etc. Sometimes you do end up key ringing, like you don't know what to do, so you just look at every item in your inventory, and you you just try that on every puzzle that you come across. There's some puzzles that just might seem too complicated or weird and confusing. This game in particular, kind of like later Alligator, involves a lot of mini games. So after you find a solution to a puzzle, you might also then be asked to do a little like sliding block puzzle game um, or like a little puzzle lock picking kind of thing. So far, none of those have really stood in the way of my progress. It's always been pretty intuitive what to do next or how to proceed, uh, what my inventory items should actually be used for. I'm sure it will get more complicated down the line. That's just how it works. And who knows, there might be plenty of moments in the full game where I just feel like, oh, this is similarly frustrating to some other games in the genre that I've played before. And no, I mean, like I said, it's not my favorite genre in general. I can't really speak to that side of things yet. Also, it's just a demo, so who knows? Who knows how they're going to handle that stuff through the rest of the chapters or levels or whatever they call them. But so far, presentation obviously is just my favorite aspect. Absolutely. The music 
music here. I don't know the composer's name. I don't know if the credits were even available in the game itself there, the demo. But my goodness, wow, is the music so good. The main menu tune, in fact, is, is what I'll just play underneath the whole video here because I love it. I'll just keep the loop on sometimes in the background. Really fantastic. That's basically it. Like, I don't have many complaints so far, if any at all. I am very interested in seeing the full game, how it plays out upon release. The fact that it's coming to Switch is very exciting to me because I love visually appealing games in a handheld format. So that'll probably be how I buy it when it's actually released. But for the meantime, yeah, those are some early thoughts. Very excited about the whole thing. And even beyond that, I'm excited at the idea of this becoming a more common approach to game visuals is it's not 3D. It's not even necessarily 2.5D. It's not pixel art, thank God. And it's still really creative and fun. It's evocative. It does everything it needs to do. This is one of the standouts in that area. Wanted to mention it to you. I think the demo is playable for a few days more, and then we don't have that much longer to wait for the full release. But yeah, let me know what you think. Please give it a shot, and uh, thanks for stopping by.